Hello, I'm Robert Mavic, this is my science fair project. What my project was, was to see if methane that's generated from my homemade methane digester here would burn better or worse than methane that's run through gas lines in a school home or office building. My, I hypothesized that this would burn worse because there's impurities in the gases here and in methane from a um, school or office building, according to research from naturalgas.org, they do take out some impurities and they do add in some gas that would work better. Um, I do have three buckets here that would just hold the compost, a bag here that would hold the methane, and a water trap here that would release pressure. I do have valves that would help in containing the methane and helping to release it at the end. My experimental procedure here just consists of a Bunsen burner, a ring stand, and a glass of five milliliters of water. Using the equations Q equals MC delta T and Q equals LM, I was able to find out that I burned 950 calories in five minutes. After using this at a rate of 150 bubbles of methane that were produced in a minute, I was able to find out that I had 1.2 calories burnt per bubble of methane. Um, when I tried this on the methane digester here, it would not burn at all. There was a much higher rate of bubbles per minute, but it would just not catch as far as the, even with a lighter over it, it would not catch at all. I think this is due to the impurities that could have been in here. And while this didn't work, I do want to try this again, which is why I'm still continuing to release methane now, even after my results are in. I would also want to try this on a septic system, because septic systems are always releasing methane from human waste and that could help to heat a home. There's one last part of my project I want to show you, which is just a tent that was over the methane digester to stop it from blowing away in the wind. So I'm just going to give you one last quick look at my methane digester now.